Sing, O barren, you who have not born. Break forth into singing and cry aloud, you who have not labored with child. For more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married woman, says the Lord. Enlarge the place of your tent and let them stretch out the curtains of your dwellings. Do not spare, lengthen your cords and strengthen your stakes. For you shall expand to the right and the left and your descendants will inherit the nations and make the desolate cities inhabited. I will not fear, for I will not be ashamed. I will neither be disgraced, for I will not be put to shame. For I will forget the shame of my youth, and I will not remember the reproach of my widowhood any more. For my maker is my husband. The Lord of hosts is his name, and my redeemer is the Holy One of Israel. He's called the God of the whole earth. For the Lord has called me like a woman forsaken and grieved in spirit, like a youthful wife when I was refused, says my God. For a mere moment, he has forsaken me, but with great mercies, he will gather me. For a mere moment, he has forsaken me, but with great mercies, he will gather me. With a little wrath, he hid his face from me for a moment. But with everlasting kindness, he will have mercy on me, says the Lord, my Redeemer. For this is like the waters of Noah to him. For as he has sworn that the waters of Noah would no longer cover the earth, so he has sworn that he would not be angry with me, nor rebuke me. For the mountains shall depart and the hills be removed, but his kindness shall not depart from me. I have to say it again. For the mountains shall depart, and the hills shall be removed, but his kindness shall not depart from me, nor shall his covenant of peace be removed, says the Lord, who has mercy on me. Oh, I am an afflicted one. I'm tossed with tempest. I'm not comforted. Behold, he will lay my stones with colorful gems and lay my foundations with sapphires. He will make my pinnacles of rubies and my gates of crystal and all my walls of precious stones. All my children will be taught by the Lord and great shall be the peace of my children. In righteousness, I will be established. I will be far from oppression for I will not fear. And from terror, it will not come near me. Indeed, they shall surely assemble, but not because of the Lord. Whoever assembles against me will fall for my sake. Behold, you have created the blacksmith who blows the coals in the fire, who brings forth an instrument for his work. And you've created the spoiler to destroy. No weapon formed against me will prosper. And every tongue that rises against me in judgment I will condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and our righteousness is from you, says it, you say. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he's near. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord, and he will have mercy on him and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are my ways your ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain comes down and the snow from heaven, and do not return there, but water the earth, and make it bring forth in bud, that it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what I please, and it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. For you shall go out with joy and be led out with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth into singing before you. And all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Instead of the thorn shall come up the cypress tree, and instead of the briar shall come up the myrtle tree. 
and it shall be to the Lord for a name, for an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. But he who puts his trust in me shall possess the land and shall inherit my holy mountain. And one shall say, heap it up, heap it up, prepare the way. Take the stumbling block out of the way of my people. For thus says the high and lofty one who inhabits eternity. I'm sorry. For thus says the high and lofty one who inhabits eternity, whose name is holy. I dwell in the high and holy place with him who has a contrite and humble spirit to revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite ones. For I will not contend forever, nor will I always be angry. For the spirit would fail before me and the souls which I've made. For the iniquity of his covetousness, I was angry and I struck him. I hid and was angry. And he went on backsliding in the way of his heart. I have seen his ways and will heal him. I also will lead him and restore comforts to him and to his mourners. I create the fruit of the lips, peace, peace to him who is far and peace to him who is near, says the Lord, and I will heal him. But the wicked are like the troubled sea when it cannot rest, whose waters cast out mire and dirt. There is no peace, says my God for the wicked. God bless you.